hundred years ago, it was the most popular form of music. It was like everyone had banjos. Everyone loved this stuff. Hey, I'm Aaron Jonah Lewis. I was born here in Detroit. Didn't have a lot of exposure to the banjo. I had lessons with a wonderful teacher. Um, he was originally from Kentucky, and he introduced me to fiddle tunes, which I thought was really fun. It was kind of like the bonus time. If I had a good lesson, then I was got to play some fiddle tunes. I want to connect people with the sense of history. The banjo is like this great tool for that. It takes us right back to the past, um, while at the same time going in new modern directions all the time as well. And for me, it just raises these questions of culture. Like, are we trying to just recreate things that have already been done? Are we um, appropriating from other cultures just for the sake of making money? Are we doing this to elevate others? Are we doing this to help and share? Um, what is it that we are doing? Starting to learn the stories behind the music really started to open up the meanings, the, the, the deeper connections. So I've developed this interest in history that I never really had before. Those and these are music books and these this is all music books. The banjo has its roots in Western Africa um, by way of the Caribbean is where the actual banjo was invented by enslaved people who apparently were influenced by European instruments. Enslaved people didn't have familiarity with their surroundings. They didn't have money or free time and yet they still found it um, important to create banjos and play them. And it makes me think, what, what kind of a culture? Like, that's, that's so important to them. Um, if it were me and I was removed from my surroundings and forced to, into labor, what would I recreate? What would be the thing for me? that would remind me of home or that would bring me together with the people around me. I lived in the East, I lived in the West, I lived in old Virginia. I lived 40 days in the hornet's nest and I didn't get stung hardly any. This is really niche stuff. This is like, this is never gonna be mainstream, like mass appeal. I'm not gonna play the Super Bowl halftime show ever. <laughs> That's okay with me. I don't really want to. The competitions for me, it's a combination of like, yeah, do your best. So maybe you'll win something. You get like a little bit of prize money and a ribbon. People will say, hey, good job. That's, that's a good feeling. But mainly it's about just having, a, having something to work towards. Like, I'm going to do my best for this event. I'm going to try and really push myself to do something better than I've ever done. All this music and all this practicing by myself, it's not just about being great on stage or making a great record. It's about connecting with people, playing with people, playing for people. It's about getting together. Oh, my Cindy Lord, I love Cindy Lord. 